Hello, beautiful ladies. Oh, I'm so excited to bring you this NYX tutorial with a hodgepodge of other makeup thrown in. I do have NYX products, some NYX products, but I've never tried their foundation, so I'm very excited. If you're new to my channel, my name is Lala, and welcome. The makeup I purchased is NYX, the Blurring Foundation in Light Medium, and this is medium coverage. Oh, this will be scary for me, all right, because I usually like the light coverage, but I hear such wonderful things about this. All righty, so here we go. I'm going to shake, 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 shake my girl thing. It's a little thicker than I'm used to, but I'm going to go for it. I'm not a chicken. All right, here we go. All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow. I look up close. Oh, yeah, it is fuller coverage, but oh my gosh, it is blurring. I'm just going to continue to blend and we'll be right back. Oh, what do you think? Oh my goodness. It is um, blurring. I'm liking it. I can still see my skin through it. Okay, we're going to let that set up. Next, we are going on to the NYX Wonder Stick. I've never used one before. Okay, first I got to get it off. So it has two ends. It, so here it is. I've got the lighter end and the darker end for contouring. Let's go. Alrighty. I have a high forehead. So I can do that. I'm going to go on my, from my hairline down. I'm going to do my nose, because I broke my nose 20 years ago, and it still feels weird in that something. So this side, <laughs> this side is a challenge. I guess I should probably went up a little higher. Go down, down. I just have a, it's really wide at the end. We'll see. I'm going to do a little here. Ooh. And of course, on my gels. I'm going to shadow those, shadow those suckers. So I'm going to go right at, I guess I shouldn't have took that end out yet. Paying special attention. I want to try to hide my gels. And then I'm going to try to hide my waddle. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Now turn that end in. And I'm going to take out the highlight. Very pretty highlight. Very different. I am going to do the, the V for victory. Go a little over my eyebrows in here where we have a tendency to be a little concave. And down here in the shadows, I want to try to minimize these marionette lines. Again, who names these things? Marionette. And then my nasal folds, my schnoz. All right, in here a little bit. All righty, let's try blending. I'm going to use my blending brush so I don't disturb the beautiful NYX foundation. Probably should. Oh! Okay. Make sure you blend it good so you don't... Uh, Look like you put yourself in mud. I'm going to continue blending and be right back. It's pretty, uh, pretty glowy. I already put um, the NYX Concealer CW02 on my eyelids and powdered, so I'd be ready. I'm going to do the brows. This is a NYX Brow Pencil in Ash Brown. And it looks a lot like my Mophie, which I just love the little tiny uh, end and then the spoolie. So I'm just going to do one brow and move on. Yeah, my brows are starting to fade a little to more what they're going to be. So without makeup, I don't need to use the brow pen. But when I have makeup on, it kind of swallows up my brows. Okie dokie, artichokey. I didn't get my NYX eyeshadow palette that I ordered through Amazon Prime Day in October, so I'm going to have to use a different one. 
So when I went into Ulta to get my uh, NYX products, right there in front staring me in the face was these beautiful palettes by Tarte. The eye palette I'm going to use today is called Marcuja Juicy. I hope that's how it's pronounced. Look at this palette, you guys. Look. Oh my gosh, gorgeous fall colors. So I'm going to use my uh, brushes by Jessup with a few others thrown in. I love my IT crease brush. I'm going to start with this color here, which is blossoming. Isn't that gorgeous? And I take a nice little flat brush and I'm going to dip it in there. Woo -woo. Get some of that off. I'm going to throw a caution to the wind. I'm not going to use a shadow shield. And I have a lot of real estate according to one of my lovely subscribers and I should take advantage of that. Okay. So, ooh, it's very, it's very subtle. <laughs> and that's just the look I want. Oh, look at that color blossoming. Add a little more. And I'm going over my full eyelid and up almost to my brow line and over. I'm going to pretend like I have a shield on though. Okay, and of course we do clean up later. Now, in the crease, I'm going to take this color here, <gasps> Flourish. And it's pretty pigmented, so I'll go in ever so lightly. So I'm going right in the V for right now. Ooh, look at that color, ladies. <gasps> Yum! And I am going to follow, because of my hood, follow your eye shape to get the, the most out of your shadow. Look straight ahead. Okay, might need a little more help because my, sha my shadow, my uh, hooded eye here, my little flappy skin here has a tendency to look heavy. So I try to. Now I'm going to take my Fluff Fluff McGraw. I can't unsay that anymore now. I hope you're using it when you are applying your makeup, even if you're alone. All right. As I said, we'll be doing more cleanup. Next, I am going to use this color here, which is Primrose, for my lid color. So I'm going to take another Jessup brush that's firm but tapered. and I'm going to apply it to the inner corner of my eye, you know, starting from my uh, iris and go over. Very subtle. <laughs> okay. Light to kind of pull it forward. All right. Now we go on to the tight line. So the tight line color I got is NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick in, ep in deepest brown. Okay. All righty. I do the tight line on the lash line, not so much on the actual water line. Go up just a little bit. You don't have to. We'll clean up and then I'm going to use my mascara. Yes, my e.l.f. Lash Beats. Love this stuff. If you guys can think of another one that would look make my brows pop like this one, not all clumpy, I would love the suggestions. Oh, and that Revive Lash, I'm telling you ladies, that has really done a wonder on my eyelashes. It looks like I have fake eyelashes on. Come on. And of course I'm taking my Clear Elf um, Lash Gel and doing it on my bottom lashes. So it just spreads them out, makes them look uniform to the top lashes, but doesn't, it's not gonna add any blackness under there. I'm gonna do the other eye now, complete. Now I'm gonna do the blush and highlighter and a little bronzer, I think, just to add a little bit of color, a little bit of more definition. All right, I'm gonna use this palette Glamazon by Tarte. Those beautiful colors. Hey, this is a bronzer, blush, and highlighter. And the names mean nothing because they don't even describe it, in my opinion. I'm going to take my bronzing little square one, dip it in there, and then just a little bit. 
You don't have to do this. I just wanted to add just a little more and over the top of my nose. I think that's pretty. Now I'm going to use the blush. Here's my little brush brush, blush brush, little tapered one. I'm going to go in the center. This color is gorgeous. And go up on my bananas. Ooh! Oh, pretty. Oh, ladies, yar. <laughs> Just a little bit of blush. Oh, yeah. Pretty, huh? Last but not least are my lips. I have to wipe off a little of the city lips. This is Nick's Line Loud in Trophy Life. Alrighty. So I'll go. Oh, it looks like it's gonna fall out. I go try to go just a little bit. Then go in with my NARS balm in orgasm. Just gives a little. Mm-hmm. I'm really impressed with this foundation, how it blurs the fine lines, pores, wrinkles, doesn't set into them. Yeah, I love the color. Oh, I just think it's beautiful. I just need to know what you think, okay? So lots more coming, ladies. So stay strong, confident, and warm. God bless you. Lala is